Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome back to the ninth part tutorial of how to model the island. We're gonna continue and we have some things to do before some preparation before I continue with the really major problem that I uh, gonna face you with. So I'm gonna take this thing here and control D duplicate this, move it along there and I'm gonna right click on the this pin here just slightly bring it in, bring it in there, press F8 to bring it back to object mode, grab both of them, and you want to go over mesh, combine them, okay? Go over modify, center the pivot for it, and let's rotate this 90 degrees that way. Now, I'm going to stick this uh, here, okay? Now, try to relay on this center edge. So hold on the V key, just snap it there and make sure it's there and stick it there, okay? Control D to duplicate this once again. Switch to rotation tool, J key and rotate this and stick it there, okay? So this is nice, this is good. Uh, the thing is that I want the cord of this generator to follow here down to the ground and start climbing out, up to on top of this pole and reach this uh, point here, okay? And then from here to reach this one and go to the other one that will be here. So basically, I want you to grab this entire thing, control D, duplicate this, mesh combine first, go edit, mo sorry, modify, center the pivot, and move it along over here. Now, it's really up to you how to design this. I'm only showing you how to model. I think that the design of it, it's really up to you. If you wanna uh, continue this tutorial with same design as I placed the generator here or the poles here, uh, again, this is this should be something that is up to you. So. I'll just put this one here and the reason is because I will have I will probably create some sort of a house here or I don't know what so I'm putting this as for a secondary uh, point of electricity near the house uh, beside that uh, there, there are many uh, houses that has this own pole of them which is on top of the roof so you don't really need to have a roof um, you know um, pole there you can simply assemble it to the pole that is on the roof it's really up to you anyway control D to duplicate this thing and move this one now over next to that uh, thing here uh, this deck okay so I just try put it there and leave it well we can rotate this later now we will focus on this okay now i'm gonna create a curve and basically we are drawing a curve that will go through this area here of this cord and go following to the ground and climbing up and we will stop the curve here where is the smithing point and from there we will extend later on the curve to the other pole. So basically two curves will be assembled into one curve and we will do this right now. It's very difficult to uh, you know to do this for people who just s done this for the first time doing it for the first time so um, I really suggest you to take things into more of like the understanding aspect of this. Uh, it's quite hard to navigate with a uh, drawing line through a whole 3D scene and you need to bear in mind that in order to do this well you could relay on our top or on our four view. So the four view basically gives you sort of indication of where your line is at the current moment and from there you can somehow navigate perfectly 
uh, in whatever, whatever direction you choose. So um, we will use the for view uh, as for part of it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go over curve surfaces um, menu here. By, the, by default for earlier versions of Maya, you have CV curve and EP curve. I always used the CV curve. And for some reason, and because I'm lazy, I can't find the CV curve here at Maya 2016. Therefore, I will use the EP curve, which it's like the same thing, okay? Uh, I really don't, um, I didn't research why there are two type of those, but anyway. Um, this is the EP curve tool. I'm gonna click on it. And the first thing I will do, I'm gonna look at the side view. At least for me, this is the side view. In your, uh, your own model, it could be the front view. So it really depends on how you placed your island and the other stuff. So let's, let's say that this is our uh, point where we start with. So I'm gonna go over, um, well, shading. Well, no, just press four so you can see this. See, right now you can see in wireframes and I see exactly where the vertex of this cord is. So I can click once on top of it. That way I know that this is the level. This is exact uh, point of the level where it should be. I'm gonna hit the spacebar to get back to four view. And right now I will search for my EP curve. So it's not exactly there, but it's a lot lot far behind but with that in mind you can try and understand how to do this so maybe it wasn't a good idea to start from this so I'm gonna undo that and I will start from the front view where I see this cord here I press 4 and right now I want the, the first dot to be inside the generator the next one to be outside of those, uh, this, you know, uh, sort of accordion. So I'm clicking here and then I will click, start to click here, here and following to the ground. And we will use our model to indicate exactly where the ground is. So basically you have these two plates and you can see there is a little bit space between them. But anyway, um, I'm going to reach to the ground and you want the curve to float above the ground so maybe you already reached the ground but I assume that not because of these two and because of the surface there now I'm going following this path and now you can see that this is the our uh, pole so some part of it is intersecting here this is, I think, I will assume that this is where it's intersecting. So I'm gonna following these lines as it was my ground surface. And again, floating above it. Now, when you get near to the point of where the pole is, you wanna start and build this up. So it's climbing the uh, pole, but you don't wanna stick it to the pole. You just want it to be very close to it. The reason is because we're gonna wrap um, well, we're going to wrap um, an extrusion, we're going to do an extrusion to that cord all along this path of the curve and therefore it will be in diameter much more big than this thin curve line. So we need to keep some distance to this cable uh, to be wrapped um, over this thin curve line. I'm trying to maintain a uh, third distance from the pole and equal distance from between each curve point. And I'm climbing all the way up. Try not to do this in zigzags, slaloons, I don't know. Just try to maintain this flat as possible. Either way, you will be able to fix this later. The These are just like just the foundation of this first curve and it's always can be modified but you want to want to make sure that the first uh, will be as much as much as possible accurate and good because things can get a little bit messy now 
here this is the point where this is linked to the pole and the cable will need to go through either the right side of the or the left side of this link here so I'm gonna put one dot here one dot on top of it and one dot uh, above it and the reason is that I want some vertices here to work with whenever I'm gonna um, you know offset this line to go either from the right or the left of the of this link this link so I'm gonna continue up and now I'll zoom out a little bit just so I can see where I'm going with this okay and here you want to start and build this to go through that pin that we just assigned there so it will go that way and here it will do a maneuver like tying inside this thing so it's a little bit inside just because I want the cable to sit really inside that area where there is you know this sort of uh, I don't know it's it, it's like made for the cable to uh, wrap around it and then I'm gonna go over here there and I'm gonna click here and stop this okay click enter tap enter to make this line permanent now I'm gonna switch back to for view and perspective view and now you can see that the entire line that we created is basically here and not here so we need to adjust it and bring it back to where it should be okay like so now the gizmo like the handles of the move tool are there so basically the pivot is there and you can hold down the D key and move it sorry don't move only the pivot so hold down the D key and move it with the move tool to be very nearby this um, curve and now it will be easier and much more sensitive to your movements and you will be able to put it exactly where it should be now don't think of this right now I know that I placed it exactly in the middle but the middle was the first and second point then it starts to curving down so I just want to be right now at the center of this edge here see exactly like that now the pole is not really at the front of this uh, in front of this so it's either you take the pole over there or it's either you move your um, you know your uh, cable your curve towards the pole so what I will do I know that it's, it will be easier to move the pole but I want to change a little bit the things that I've done here so I'm gonna right click on the background while it's selected choose control vertices and I'm gonna grab all those vertices here like so you see those beneath there and I want to move them stretch them to the side so basically it will um, it will the cable will climb from the side of the pole maybe bring it a little bit closer to the pole like so try to be gentle with your movements if it's very far then I do suggest that you will take the pole and move it and not the you know that curve now I will gonna grab these this section of vertices and I'm gonna stretch them over to align with this now I can start and simply spread those a little bit so they will have be in sort of uh, equal distance and you know just populate this in this curve a little bit better than it was now you can see what's the problem right I'm gonna need to grab these and move them towards there and this one should get back try not to mess around too much with this it's, it can be a little bit difficult to uh, 
solve this uh, if you do some extreme maneuvers. Anyway, this is pretty good for us. And as for the start, the beginning of this, and what I will do here is I'm going to press F8 to bring it back to object mode. Okay. Now, this will take a lot of time to accomplish. Therefore, I'm going to stop this part of the tutorial right here, and I'm going to continue later on with the next part. The reason I'm doing this is because right now I'm in a position where I know things are good, but they can be messed up in for some reason. And because I'm recording, and because every time that I'm trying to do something, and sometimes I'm just making, uh, you know, mistakes, I'm trying to give you like, um, I don't want to, I, I don't want you to see the mistake right now, because I don't want to deal with mistakes uh, in front of you. I just want to show you what to do. Uh, mistakes can be fixed. And if you have enough logic on how to fix things, then everything is okay. You don't need this from me. But uh, again, th for the sake of creating tutorial and recording it and not recording it all over again, I will stop here where I feel it's safe. So file, save scene as, uh, I'm going to save it as nine. Okay, and save as. And I'm going to tell you, have a good day. I'm going to wish you a good day. And uh, I will see you in the next part. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like. And this is, this is very helpful. So please do do like the videos. If you Even though if you didn't like them, I don't know, just like the video. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye, have a good day.